Was Kris Jenner crying over a rumored affair? Are Miley Cyrus and Cody Simpson engaged? And did Justin and Haley slam Selena Gomez for obsessing over them? Oh, there's drama out there. Fake news in the air. But we're here to find the truth. There's no need to be scared. If it's drama that you seek. We have the rumors from the week. No need to lose control. Because we are spilling the tea right here on Rumor Patrol. Ow, ow! What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Rumor Patrol. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. And I'm Drew Dorsey. What's up, Drew? How you doing, boo? I'm good. Can I just say, mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Emil, because uh, I'm hungry in the morning, and I have my snacks right here in his hood, and you guys can't see it. Isn't that nice of him? Such a good friend. You're a friend like Emil. I have the urge to just like pop up and down so it like pops out and off it goes mm -hmm. on the ground. It's so secure, that hood. See? So you got nervous, you boy. <laughs> Don't drop my chips. Mm -mm. <laughs> Guys, we have so much tea to discuss, but while you're here, go ahead and click subscribe because you never want to miss Drew putting food in my hood. <laughs> and also leave a comment in the comment section below. If you wait until the end of the show, we always highlight and shout out our favorite comments and give you a little shout out, you know. So if you want your YouTube channel <laughs> to get some free promo, hey, you that's the way to do it. Um, but let's get into the tea because Kris Jenner is in tears, possibly. Oh no. Okay, Emil, rumor number one. Is it true that Kris Jenner is in tears over a rumored affair? Let's break it down. So, Kris Jenner, mm -hmm. she has been fighting this affair rumor for years, actually over two decades. Yeah. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a rumor that Kris Jenner had an affair with OJ Simpson and that Khloe Kardashian is actually not Rob Kardashian's daughter, it's actually OJ Simpson's daughter with Kris Jenner and it's a whole mess. And the reason why this is up again or is up in the media again is because of an episode of Sunday's Keep Note with the Kardashians. And let's talk about it. So we have to point out that they've shot these rumors down multiple times, but here we are again in 2019 and Kris Jenner is defending herself again. So on Sunday's episode of Keeping Up the Kardashians, the rumor that Kris Jenner had an affair with OJ Simpson came back to the spotlight. In the episode, Kim is reading a report about her mom that had Kris shook. Kim started off by reading, quote, OJ Simpson once bragged about his hot tub hookup with wife's best friend, Kris Jenner. Simpson reportedly claims that the size of his manhood sent Kris Jenner to the hospital. According to his former manager, Norman Pardo, he bloop that bloop until he broke her. Oh Let's see what Kris had to say. Who is Norman? Well, first of all, never heard of this person. And that never happened. Obviously, I've heard, you, we've all heard of this rumor yeah. for a while now, and it's yeah. just one of those things where, you know, it's gonna keep coming up, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, and it has to suck, you know, when you're famous like Why'd that. Why'd you have to say suck? Oh. What were you gonna say? <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry, that was so aggressive what they said in that the thing. That was very aggressive what they said, but oh. I mean, it's, it, how would you feel if you had a rumor about you that will not go away and you said multiple times this is not true? A rumor like this specifically, I would yeah. feel some type of way. Yeah. Because it's kind of like, it's degrading low key and it's disrespectful to say that she cheated on her husband yeah. and like and the whole thing. It's the whole thing. Like Nicole, if you don't know, if you're too young to know like the whole OJ Simpson thing. Yeah. His wife, Nicole, was Chris's best friend, yeah. and her best friend died, mm -hmm. and then she's being accused of sleeping with her husband, and it's just like, it's messy. But let's go on and see what else happened. Mm -hmm. So Chris said, they printed a story that I was sleeping with OJ, that piece of shit. It's really kind of pathetic that when rumors get started, the media gives it life and breath, and on the anniversary of Nicole's death, it's so tasteless and disgusting. So Chloe tries to tell her mom to not worry about it because people say stuff all the time, but Chris was moved to tears. You know, it's just, it's bullshit, man. It's just. After 25 years, you'd think that it just wouldn't be a thing. Chris goes on to say that her team had decided, quote, to take legal action because once and for all, I have to do something about it. OJ Simpson even clarified the rumors when he joined Twitter this summer. His tweet said, the first thing I want to set straight is this story. Pardo, who was not my manager, is talking about all over the media regarding me and Kris Jenner. And he said more in this video. But never. And I want to stress, never in any way, shape, or form had I ever had any interest in Chris romantically or sexually. And I never got any indication that she had any interest in me. So it's not even, OJ didn't even say those allegations. No, like it's this manager that he said was never his manager. He doesn't even know. So, right. I don't know. But was Chris Jenner, when she said that, was she referring to his former manager or was she or not his former manager but or I him. think she was from that guy not okay, OJ okay. yeah not I was gonna OJ. say he's like that yeah. didn't happen I mean if both of them said it didn't happen then I'll believe it didn't happen right and you have to just take that from them and just 
<laughs> take that. <laughs> oh wow, take that suck. Jeez, broke her vagina. I'm sorry, I'm done with this. Like broke it. It is what it is, and there's some. I mean, there's there. The tea is old at this point. Like that's the rumor where if they have said for over two decades this is not true, just believe them. Just gotta believe it and move on. So is it true though mm -hmm. that Kris Jenner was moved to tears over rumored affair? This is true. I didn't know what part you're gonna say moved to tears about. But put your hand. <laughs> true. All right, Drew. We must move on to something else to find out if it's true. Yes. Drew. Boo. Ooh. Ah chew. Oh. Ah boo. Oh, from Aladdin. Listen. Did you guys see Drew's Halloween costume? She was a genie, by I the way, genie. and she was so cute. Thanks. Okay, so um, is it true mm. that Miley Cyrus and Cody Simpson are engaged? <sighs> this is the thing. They were hella cozy on Halloween. They post too many pictures together. I'm sorry. They videos. Post... It's too much. It's not. Let's see what they say. <laughs> Well, it looks like Miley Cyrus and Cody Simpson are officially engaged if you listen to NW Magazine. Oh. We've talked about NW Magazine before and let you guys know that it is an Australian tabloid. However, there have been rumors regarding Miley in the past that have proven to be true. We are specifically referring to the rumors that Miley and Liam were on rocky terms, and then all of a sudden news came out that they split. So we will not prejudge the rumors, so like we said, this comes from NW Magazine, and they said, Obviously, it's an extremely rash move, even by Miley's standards, and there's a lot of eye rolling going on among their friends, many of whom doubt they'll actually make it to the altar. But both Miley and Cody seem dead serious about following through with this, for now at least. Don't know who this anonymous source is, but they apparently saw it all go down. They said that they, Miley and Cody, had dinner, and then Simpson got on one knee and proposed. And they said that Miley was wearing one of Cody's rings, and that's temporary until they design their own rings. So the magazine also claims to know how Miley feels, saying, she finds the whole process of getting engaged pretty thrilling and loves to shock and surprise people. Miley has convinced herself that she needs to be one step ahead of Liam and says moving on in a formal way is the only way forward for her. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I agree that Miley, I think that she loves shock value. Uh -huh. I think she likes to surprise people. I don't agree that she's trying to beat Liam to the punch of like moving on with someone else and yeah. getting engaged. She just got out of a serious relationship, a marriage. She's not rushing to get engaged to anybody else. I highly doubt it. And that doesn't make sense considering she said that the Caitlyn thing was moving too fast. Right, exactly. So why would she be getting, but no. I don't know, the PDA of it all with this Cody and, and but. I mean, I think that they're definitely together. Mm -hmm. I don't think that marriage is in the in the pl in play. Like she's literally just like having not a crisis, but you know, you come out of a breakup and you just kind of want to make the other person jealous, right. but also like want to <sighs> soil your royal oats. Oh, the royal oats. No, I hear you. I think though, with her and Cody, it's a little different just because they've known each other before they started oh, dating. Oh, did they? Yeah, they were friends. Okay, and so it's like. If you've been friends with someone for a long time, mm -hmm. then you already know like what they are and what they're like. And it's like, oh, well, it feels like I've known you forever. So let's just, whatever. I don't know. Just get married. I don't know. I think that they are sucking it, but that's <laughs> not true. How we go? <laughs> but that's the extent. I don't think that they are thinking anything serious. So why she gonna follow Liam and Caitlyn? Oh yeah, that's true. That I, that's that's a serious declaration to unfollow someone that you were formerly in a relationship with. Something that you would do if you were possibly engaged and you oh. want to see them on your No, timeline. no, no, no. She just wants to move on with her life. That's why she unfollowed them. Yeah, you're right. You still got snacks in my hood. Oh my god! Thank you for reminding me. Sure do. I mean, I'll ask the people if it's true or false. Is it true that Miley Cyrus is engaged to Cody Simpson? I think this is false. You know. Okay, Emil. <laughs> Moving on to the next rumor. Is it true that who Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin, or the Biebers, have slammed Selena Gomez? Well, let me tell you the tea. This one has me all the way confused. Okay, so Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber want Selena Gomez to leave them the alone, according to Life and Style. The headline says, Justin and Hailey tell Selena, leave us alone. Justin and Hailey just want to enjoy their lives as newlyweds, but his ex-girlfriend Selena isn't making it easy. Okay, that's the quote. So we've talked about Selena's new music on every show here, DHR, Newsfeed, Lowdown. We've talked about Hailey's Instagram story that people thought she was saying something towards Selena when she said, I'll kill you by Summer Walker. She posted that song on her Insta story right after Selena dropped her song. Anyway. 
Justin and Haley are over it apparently. So the article has us confused though, and just stay tuned so we can explain why. So the article talks about Selena's songs and how it references her on again, off again relationship with Justin Bieber. It says, quote, it was heartbreaking for Selena. She felt used and betrayed, and it still hurts sometimes. Selena didn't mean for the song to be shady, but writing is part of her process, so she had to put it down to paper. Now, here's the thing. So far, they have said nothing in this article about Justin and Haley, and that's what the headline's supposed to be about. So it continues on, and I'm thinking we're gonna hear what they have to say when it says, quote, while the Beavers weren't thrilled with the song, Selena got plenty of support from fans and friends, with Taylor Swift calling the ballad a perfect expression of healing on Instagram. But I don't care what Taylor had to say. We wanna hear what Justin and Haley had to say. That's why we clicked the article. Anyway, I keep skimming the article and y'all at the very end of this short article we finally get something you know what it says still Justin and Haley hope this is the last song she writes about him they just want Selena to leave them alone y'all what here's my thing mm. I don't mind I mean obviously to do a show like this you have to somewhat enjoy the tabloids and like reading right. this ridiculous stuff right. and just making fun of it mm -hmm. but if you're going to do creative pieces <laughs> creative pieces where you're coming up with stories like this at least give a little substance to it. You can't do one line about it and then do a whole story about one line. Listen, fiction writers need to be creative and this was not creative, this was lazy. Lazy. I'm disappointed. I was ready to go in. I was about to go like break down the facts, what Justin said, what Haley said, and y'all didn't even give me enough to work with. They gave us no custard in the crust. <sighs> Just crust. Not even good crust. So I guess with that being said, there's no, I mean obviously this is bull. Uh, so is it true that Justin and Haley said to, or what, the, what is it? Justin and Haley slammed Slam Selena Gomez. Gomez. This, this is, is so false. false. All right, guys, it's time for our favorite part of the show, the <sighs> comments. So here we go. We're gonna start off with Ingrid Mofati. She says, best show on the channel. I got the opening song stuck in my head for the rest of the day. Ooh, you should send us a clip of you singing it. Please. That would be, or rapping it, I guess it's a rap. Do that. Thank Tag you. us so Thank we can you. repost. Dom D. Oh, hey, Double D, fellow Double D, said, these two are so entertaining. They need a reality show. I literally just watched Room Patrol for them. LOL, I can care less for the drama. Thanks, Dom. Funny you say Funny that. Funny that you say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Annalisa Borja says, yes. This is the stuff I wait for every Wednesday. Emil and Drew are like my favorite humans. Favorite was capitalized. I know, you're my favorite, because you watch us, and you love us, and we love you right back. Ooh, that really got some distance got there. Some wow. Yep. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching each and every week. Please leave a comment in the comment section below, mm -hmm. and subscribe. Drew, you got anything to say to the people? Um, keep your snacks and your friends' hoods. I'm done. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 But guys, wait, before you go, click right over here to watch last week's episode of Room Patrol. It was a celeb takeover with Joey Graceffa. So good. Also, you guys, make sure you subscribe. You know where the button is. I mean, don't crush my chips.